Hello. Happy Tuesday. This is not the day we do paint your style normally, but it's a weird week and I just sort of feel like doing paint your style. And so we're going to do paint your style today, mostly because it's the day it works to do it this week. And I am actually excited. I've pulled sort of an odd color palette in all honesty. It's not what I would normally pull for something like this, but it is quite nice. Is there no audio? Oh, there is, it's just really quiet. Mm. Oh, give me a second. Okay, I think we're back. We should have sound again. But I don't know that that's actually fixed anything, so that's a bit annoying. But we're just gonna have to live with it today. So, welcome to Paint Your Style. This is a weekly art challenge hosted by a group of nine artists on Instagram. I have now been participating for about a year. And this week's is actually a lot of fun. I have pulled a sort of similar color palette in all honesty. I went a bit off of the color palette mostly because I wanted to use the genuine manganese blue from Cosmic. And because of that, I decided to use genuine every, like just all Cosmic paints. It's been a while since I've done just Laura's paints in a video. I've just been using a whole bunch of stuff recently and got so many fun things that sometimes I don't know what I want to play with. So we're going to use all Laura's paints today. Some are colors that are still available. Some are very old colors that haven't been available for years, but are some of my favorites like Sterling. I think Sterling has now been replaced twice with two different silvers. I don't know what the current silver closest to Sterling is. I probably should. Um, in the... I know it's in, the closest replacement to sterling is in the golds and silvers palette. I do know that, but I don't actually know what it's called, unfortunately. It might just be called silver. So, let's get into this. I'm taping it off. I know I go back and forth about taping, especially on this paper. I never get a clean tape line, but... I do still like sort of the idea of getting a clean line, even if I don't get one. And at some point it's going to work again, because last year I was getting clean lines. So it's just a this year problem, unfortunately. So let's get into this. We have a bunch of blues and colors. I'm going to do a swatch card first. No, I'm not. Let's move the shimmer water so that I don't accidentally grab some shimmers. It would be very me. Let's move this water so that we're not getting it in the camera every time. And I want to wet this page actually fully. Mostly because I want to do what, something like I did with the background last week where it's pretty and blended out and just like pretty basic. So. This pen, this paintbrush is absolutely stained red. I don't know what I was using it with last. Whatever I was using it though with was very red. So let's start with manganese blue in this corner, which is not accurate to the original. And indigo genuine up here. And twilight in here. 
I love Twilight and this is not the size of brush that I need to be doing this with. I need something big and chunky. Twilight is one of my favorite colors and the pigment has been discontinued, unfortunately. And so I have, I have a stash. I think I've got two pans in my palette. And Laura's got a stash of the pigment because it really is a great color. to go down too far. The nice thing about this background is that it is pretty night sky. And so you just like, the goal isn't for it to be flat and perfect. It's just for it to like look night sky-y. And I'm not putting in the stars the original has. I don't have a white gouache in this palette. So I wouldn't be getting all the stars in anyways. Let's dry this. All right, we're dry. This is definitely one of those very, very loose galaxy pieces. But honestly, I like that. Like I don't do galaxies all that often and we're throwing trees on top anyways. And so I don't think it matters that the background's a little bit messy. That being said, we are gonna throw these matte brushes away once they're clean. Mostly because I refuse to get more shimmer paints in my Tintoretto's. Been there, done that. It's not fun to clean them. And we're going to grab these shimmers. So I have a selection of shimmers. I have a selection of shimmer brushes. And I need more tape on this page. <sighs> this page wants to go places. And I'm not letting it go places. So we're going to do the double tape trick. I haven't had to do in a while. But honestly, every once in a while, there's just a piece that wants to go places. And I don't have time for that today. So I actually like this piece so far, sort of. Galaxies are never my favorite. I think you can make them look really cool. I'm just not great at them. I think I've only done one that I absolutely loved in my life. And really this background is far more galaxy than it's supposed to be. It's also still wet. All 
All right, take two. Page is dry. And now we're gonna put in these trees. I'm going to actually layer in my shimmer trees. Not something I do very often, but it is really pretty. And I've got, as you can see, I've got a variety of brushes. Two are the same little round brush. Oh, apparently they're spotters. They're 10 zeros. One has a much nicer tip than the other. So this one I'm going to use for the first layer, this I'm going to use for the second. And then I've got a zero and a liner, zero. So we're going to get into this and shimmer water because I do use separate cups for my water, which is very important unless you want your entire palette to shimmer. I decided very early on in painting that I wanted separate water cups. And I think at the very beginning, I started to use separate water cups and separate brushes. And so all my brushes are marked. So you can see these will all have purple nail polish on the bottom. And so I automatically know when I pull a brush, if it's a matte brush or if it's a shimmer brush, which is fantastic. First layer of trees, we're actually gonna use a zero just so that they're like not as detailed. And I'm gonna do the first layer in Magpie. I don't know that this color still exists. I hope it does. It is a lovely color. And I'm also not gonna like follow where they have trees necessarily. I'm going to, you know, just like do what feels right is sort of my motto for trees. We do a lot of trees on this channel. <laughs> we do a lot of tiny trees on this channel. So like just, if you're putting in foliage, my rule for foliage is like, do, do what feels right. If a space looks empty, stick in a tree. If it looks too busy, you probably don't need more foliage rules for life. Uh, if you want to get better at painting trees, one, just like try out a whole bunch of brushes. Two, uh, Amber Lane Art has, I believe it's a YouTube video on painting trees 30 different ways. And if it's anything like her other videos, I am sure it's fantastic. And so now I'm gonna clean this brush and I'm gonna grab some black grape, which I wanna say has been discontinued for a couple of years now. But I might be wrong and it's Bewitch that's been discontinued. It might be in grab bags right now actually dry this quickly. There are a whole bunch of shimmer grab bags in Laura's shop right now, so if you are interested in trying shimmer paints but don't really know where to start, I would probably start there. I always think grab bags are a great place to start when trying out a brand for the first time because you don't have to be super color specific. If you just like wanna try something out This tree feels awkward.
And, like, sometimes you have trees like that that are just, like, something's not quite right. So I'm going to mix some magpie into that black grape. And do... a little shorty in there. And one over here. We'll call that good. Let's dry this. And I think this is the tool I want. I don't know if the sterling is thin enough for this though, so... test. It is. Okay.
remember why I have a love-hate thing relationship with this thing. already gotten clogged. because I'm gonna get the tool. And unfortunately, <sighs> what do I not care about having to clean? I'll clean you. I have to redo this week. Let me just stick in another tree. Yeah, I might just stick in another tree. Okay. 